I'm in the Arctic investigating the mysterious Greenland shark, and I'm helping Simi, a local Inuit, catch one to feed his pack of dogs. We've hauled in more than half a mile of line, and it looks like there's something on the end. Line, chain. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, there's a fish. We have a fish on. We just need to get the chain up. Oh, yes. This is a big one. How do we get it through the hole? The shark isn't fighting. It probably died on the line overnight. Ah. Right, the hole isn't big enough for the shark, so just cutting more ice. Two, three. It still feels like it's stuck. Looks like we're going to need a bigger hole. I never like to see a dead fish, but it's all part of survival here for the Inuit. This shark will feed Simi's dogs for weeks to come. This is a big head. How big is the rest of it? This could be the moment if the hole's big enough. OK, ready? Uh, need to... Yes, is that coming? Yes, it's starting to come. I think it's... It's a good ten foot or so. I think there's still more to come. This is a perfect opportunity to further my investigation. It's out. It's a big animal. This is massive. This is huge. Let's have a look at it. It's a female. Very shark-like tail, that asymmetric tail. The fascinating thing about sharks that we always want to look at is the, the, the jaws, the teeth. And the Greenland shark has these very pointy teeth on the upper jaw. That's for gripping. But then on the lower jaw, you've got these almost square-shaped teeth with almost like a chisel blade on the end. They're definitely sharp, but are they sharp enough to attack and kill? Simi starts to prepare cuts for his dogs, but the meat will have to be cured before they can eat it. High levels of urea make fresh Greenland shark meat toxic. This is my chance to find out how and what these sharks eat under the ice. So here's all the guts just coming out. This is a halibut. This is quite a, a big halibut. There we go, that's the head. Yes, you did. And uh, <laughs> look at that. That's part of somebody's fishing net. That's quite a big fish in there. What, what fish is this? Sour chick. It's a cod. Now, this is interesting. That might be a cod that died of natural causes and this came along and fed on it, or they might actually take living fish. I'm wondering if Greenland sharks are more than just scavengers, so I need to find out what else they eat and how they eat it. 